As the days of election is getting closer and closer, one of the people we have to vote for is a district attorney. We have a district attorney, Mr. Charles Joe Hines. We have three people that are named Joseph. Joe is abbreviation for Joseph. One is Joseph Stalin, who humiliated and killed one of five in Russia. 50 million plus people. The other Joseph was Joseph Ratzinger. He was the Pope that resigned. He said God told him to resign. Why? Because he was involved in hiding, shoving under the carpet all priests who were perverts, molesters, and so forth and so on. The third Joseph we know is Joe Hines. He did crime in Brooklyn. He didn't pro prosecute the people who needed to be prosecuted, yet the people who shouldn't have been prosecuted and put into jail, he put them into jail. The man is nothing more than a person that's doing everything wrong, and as far as we're concerned, he does it for money. I was the first one in year 2008 that went out against him, and I said that we have in Williamsburg what they call Mishmeres Atzniyas, which means we safeguard modesty. And these people told me when I went out in a war against them, don't start with us. Charles Hines is on our payroll. The one that told me that is one of the top people in this organization, Mishmeres Atzniyas, which is safeguarding modesty. His name is Rabbi Joseph David Krause. And I said, I don't understand. I thought Mr. Charles Hines works for the government. He says, yes, he works for them and for us. We keep him fed, beautiful, with his payroll. And this is a shame and a disgrace. He did everything wrong to get the wrong people on the street. The whole ordeal that went through with Rabbi Leibowitz, with Mr. Alan Deshevitz, with Mr. Abadella, all this is under the table lies and washing away righteousness for money. We cannot afford such a DA to continue. In Brooklyn, he claims cl crimes are down, they're up. Today alone people were shot, but he has a way to hide it. That's all he's doing, he's hiding the truth. And yet, our fellow Jews, people are supposed to be very realistic, people who have families, children and grandchildren, for a few dollars, they sell themselves and they give Mr. Charles Hines his vote. It's such a shame that they don't realize that not only are they de destroying Brooklyn, they're destroying the Jewish neighborhoods, they're destroying everything that Brooklyn has to offer. It's a shame that a man like Charles Hines, who's been written up the past few months in the newspapers as a man of destruction, should even have the courage to go run again for public office. He should be hiding someplace and not showing his face. And yet there are people, especially Jewish people, political people, people who know what's going on and they're casting for him a vote and making a whole propaganda that everybody should vote for him. It's a shame. And to come to think of it, the two big people in the Jewish community, which is Rabbi Aaron Teitelbaum and Rabbi Zalman Teitelbaum, want to give him the vote because Rabbi Aaron Teitelbaum is supposed to get and reward for that that Nahemia Weberman should walk the streets and Rabbi Zalman will get for that in reward that Rabbi Boruch Mordche Leibowitz, the cantor, he will walk the streets. Is this not a shame? Tell me, are we in the right mind? And the question is, Zalman and Aaron, they do it for a reason. But where is the rest of the Jewish people in Brooklyn? Are you all happy with what's happening? Don't give a black vote for Charles Hines. You and your children and your grandchildren will feel very sorry. Now the terminology and the slang goes around, well, we have to vote for Mr. Charles Hines because he's a running candidate. He'll probably win. Don't probably anything. If you're not going to stand out against him, and then he's probably going to win. And you'll have the same four years that you had until now. All the cases that we sent to Hannah White's office were whitewashed. The victims were threatened away by Mrs. Hannah White. They weren't afraid to do anything and everything.
And if you think okay. we can continue another four years like that, we are wrong. So go out and don't cast your vote for Mr. Charles Hines. You must vote for his opponent. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.